Welcome back. You're live with Expresso. Thank you so much for tuning in on this beautiful Monday morning. It could be even more beautiful. Why? Because glorious summer is almost upon us. I know it probably is, but in the Cape, it hasn't quite kicked in properly. Um, but it's time for us to get a little bit of festivity in the mix and enjoy, of course, those beautiful sunny days. We love it. But for those who suffer from eczema, it can be serious business. And summer can, I think, often be a nightmare. Sunscreen, sweat splashing around in sea salts and chlorine. All of these can exacerbate, can flare up our skin. So we've got our now resident dermatologist, Dr. Ian Webster, um, here to shed a little light on eczema, specifically how it's affected in summer and what we can ultimately do about it without even breaking a sweat. Doc, uh, great to have you, have you back here. Um, eczema is something that... Members of my family have suffered from my little boy, um, in fact, has, has had issues with it um, as a young, young baby. But for those who don't, and for myself, actually, can you explain exactly what eczema is? Is it just genetic? Can it be caused by something? What is eczema? Eczema is basically inflammation of the skin. And there are many different types and causes of eczema. And the commonest one is what we call atopic eczema. Atopic, okay. Atopic eczema, that's often a, it goes with asthma, hay fever eczema. And we thought initially it was primarily an allergic condition, but now we know it's basically an abnormality of your epidermal barrier function of your skin. Okay. So you've got your top layer of the skin, which is your stratum corneum, and that is faulty. It's like the cement in between the cells is faulty. So that's, so that's why people with eczema often have a, a genetically dry skin. They have what we call ichthyosis. And then as a result of that faulty barrier function, then the allergens, then you set up the allergies. So the allergies is actually a secondary thing. Okay, so that just kind of And most of off, these yeah. eczema start off in childhood. Fortunately, most of the kids do grow out of it, but you're gonna have a dry skin for the rest of your life and a more sensitive skin. So you have to use the right products, That's basically nice, forever. Yes. forever. Okay, well it's the same, I mean I had childhood childhood um, asthma, yeah. my sister had exactly. eczema. Exactly. Um, part of the same genetic exactly. um, predisposition. Exactly. That's amazing. So um, we know that summer can exacerbate it because of all the things that we're doing to our, our, our dry skin, but it can be there in winter. Is it worse in summer? Is it something that is seasonal? Well, it varies. It's often in Gauteng in the winter with the very dry, dry that makes yeah. it worse. But summer, all eczemas are made worse by heat and sweating. Okay. So heating, sweating makes it worse. Um, also what makes it worse, heavy chlorinated swimming pools, especially like the gyms or public swimming pools. Salty water, salty seawater, if you swim for too long and especially if you don't rinse off the water afterwards, that, that salt dries on your skin and that can irritate the skin. Also the sun itself, about 5% of kids with atopic eczema are photosensitive. They become okay. sensitive to the sun. Yeah. It all makes sense and maybe this is kind of stating the obvious, but the do's and don'ts then, I'm assuming would stem around, you know, combating those various exactly. uh, things that exactly. exacerbate. But what would you say are the, are the kind of the pillars of existing with eczema? So in the summer, especially because often the, the children will scratch more at night time. So what you must do, they must wear light cotton clothing, pajamas. And if you've got air conditioning, put the air conditioning on. If you've got a fan, keep a fan on. And what is also quite useful, especially in children with very severe eczema, is what we call wet wraps. So you just take a bandage, soak the bandage with some water, and you bandage the child up. Okay. With that. <laughs> Make a little mummy. Yeah. Yeah. You bandage him up, <laughs> and, um, and, and that, that cools the skin, and, um, and that will relieve the itch. As far as the swimming is, is concerned, a, cl a, a chlorine pool that's got the right level of chlorine, for a short time, it's fine. Should be fine, that pH yeah. balance is with fine. The, yeah. yeah, then it's fine. The same with salt water, salt sea salt water is fine, but obviously after swimming, rinse off the salt and then you can put on a nice moisturizer, you know, like the one we, we were talking about. Um, the other thing is sunscreens. So there are many different types of sunscreens. You get chemical sunscreens and physical sunscreens. So you should have a special one for, for kids, but especially children with eczema, because they're more allergic, you should rather go for one of the mineral sunscreens, okay. which is zinc or titanium. Uh. So there's no chemicals in there. 
They unfortunately are a little bit more expensive, but there are special kiddies sunscreen. And the zinc goes everywhere. <laughs> yeah, but you see, the more modern ones, the more modern ones are, you don't get that whitening effect. The more modern ones, you don't get that whitening effect. So having having the right kind of cleanser and the right kind of cream make the world of difference. Um, I was so impressed with you on Sonia's chat the first time you, you yeah. came on to chat about the Dexrel. I went out, tried it. Oh my little boy amazing it seems to really work from a, a professional perspective how does something like dextral help with treatment of, of eczema well again um in in winter time often we'll use more ointments which are greasy and if you use greasy things in summer your little eccrine sweat glands get blocked and you get a heat rash it gets so this is a nice it's a nice texture the formulation is it's not too greasy okay. so you put it on your skin it rubs in it's nice and what this does, it contains various things. It contains glycerol, which is a humectant. It contains stearic acid, which is like a lipid. It puts the fats back into your skin. So it creates And it barrier, also contains yeah. things that forms like a film on the skin. So if your child wants to swim a little bit longer, then you can put some of this on. It actually protects, like a waterproofing. It gives them a little second skin. Yeah. So yeah. If, you, if your child wants to swim longer, put this on first, and then the child can swim. Absolutely love it, but take nothing away from how hectic eczema can be. Um, so it's something that you want to take seriously, especially in a young child. You've got to take care of their skin and just take on board that this is a lifelong journey. But there are answers to it. And we are giving you guys the chance to win a Dexwell product hamper to the value of 2,000 Rand. All you have to do is SMS the keyword skincare to double three seven two eight. That's skincare to double three seven two eight, And you could be the lucky winner of this 2,000 Rand hamper. Remember, SMSs cost one Rand 50. No free SMSs apply. And of course, all the terms and conditions can be found on expressoshow.com. This particular competition closes today at midnight. So you want to get on it. Dexeril is a complete dryness soothing and protection system, safe for daily use and suitable for all dry skin. Dry skin protection for the whole family.